The record-breaking snowfall this winter has been phenomenal, but maybe even more so in the eyes of those who study it closely. Yeah, the director of the Snow Hydrology Lab at the University of Utah could have never predicted her equipment at the top of Little Cottonwood Canyon would ever be buried by snow. <laughs> but as new specialist Jed Bowles shows us, that is exactly what happened. Right, Jed? Yeah, exactly. You know, by now, everybody in Utah knows that we absolutely need the water, and we're getting plenty of it. But no one could have predicted that we would, that one winter could recharge so much of our deficit all at one time. The snow really has not stopped. This winter, we've just been getting storm after storm after storm, and we have finally just matched the, the record for peak snow water equivalent that was set in 83. Mackenzie Skiles is an assistant professor at the University of Utah and head of the Snow Hydrology Research to Operations Lab. We caught up with her amid a snow squall, which seemed just right. I don't think you ever see a season like this coming. You just, you know, you kind of like experience it as it's coming through and we didn't know even a few weeks ago that it was going to be record setting. Skiles and her team have installed instrumentation at the Atwater study plot across from Alta Ski Resort to study the processes that control snow accumulation and snow melt. Take a look at these two photos from that plot. Here's a photo from last summer with her graduate students from the Snow Hydro Lab and another pic taken yesterday with the snow at the top of the platform. We are at the deepest that we've ever been. We're over four meters, which is 13 and a half feet of snow. The snow actually just hit the instrumentation platform, which means that currently all of our instrumentation is buried. She says they will work to get that equipment back above the snow. It's never been deeper. Um, we're setting records there and across the state of Utah. The water in that snowpack is as good as gold for our communities. If you were to melt all of that snow out, the water level would actually be up to about their shoulders. Yeah, that's just incredible. But Skiles also points out that no one water year, not even this great one, will solve all of our water problems. And conservation always needs to be part of our culture. But we can be grateful for the snowfall that we're getting and hope for more big years in the future.